We're back in Cheese Valley. Oh, gosh. Cheese Valley. Could yeah, I get shed it. Shed a gorge. Get it, get it. Cheese Valley. That sounds disgusting. Sometimes when I'm, like, alone and thinking about things. Oh, and, not that alone and thinking and about Americans, things. And the Americans, like, say... Oh, and I love that white cheddar. I think, wow, isn't that amazing that comes from cheddar? Or maybe they just knocked off the cheese and they've used the name No, illicitly. I don't think it comes from cheddar. Like, I think it's Physically. The, the flavour profile and the recipe. Okay. But, but the name comes from this small, small yeah. town in Somerset. Yeah, it is like a tiny town, See? though. Like tiny, tiny, yeah, tiny so town. so you need to take your remarks back and you need to... I will, I will not. Shove them. Shove them? I will not. Anyway, so um, there are small, uh, three small charity shops in this town. This is where the Hedgehog Charity Shop is for anyone who has watched previous videos. Big up any charity shops representing the hedgehogs or small creatures. The Hedgehogs was closed on the day we did it. We went here. Oh. Yes. Oh. So they weren't being represented today. No, they anyway, weren't. Anyway, so Family Sweaty Betty's, um, you can just about read it. That just basically means they've been machine washed. These are Hush Yoga leggings. Three pounds, what a bargain. I've never picked up any of these. And these are my favourite, favouritest uh, sea salt trousers, which were a bit pricey, weren't they? £5.50, that was not pricey at all. No, not pricey at all. So quarter way, though, explain. Um, the Sweaty Betty's were £4. They're a uh, knee-length, like, puff, like, yoga pant. They'll go for... 25 for 30. Um, yeah. And then the uh, yoga leggings will do the same. <laughs> I just see what you did It's just very there. good bread and butter. And then the um, sea salt pants, um, they, I t challenge you, they will sell within two days on any platform for £30. Lucky what I found. I also found this. I just shot Saigon for. I also found this. This is a good run. Shalong. Well, how do you say it? Schlong. <laughs> sh sh no, we don't say it. Just, just move yeah. on. Okay. Um, it is a tunic top, pleated, oversized, extra large. Um, I have. I do come recently... back to give you a bit more detail. Don't worry. Okay, fine. I have recently sold um, maxi dresses from this brand, and for some reason, I just keep finding maxi dresses. And I have been selling maxi dresses for sixty to seventy pound a piece to United States of America. They sell fast too, don't they? Oh. Oh, yes, they do, especially in the extra large. I was just going to say sizes. XL, and for four pound, don't you say four pound? So I'm going to put that one up for sixty, just because it doesn't contain the, the length. Yeah, I, I agree on that. It's more, it's a top and not yet. And that enough. is a high price for this brand. But every time I've high priced it, they have consistently sold. I even had some stitching issues on the last one, like the pulling on the older uh, Chester Rooney. Yeah, it still sold for seventy. Well, that's just how we roll. Roll. Okay. Speaking of roll, here's some toast. I found this. I hate the. Oh, yeah, I said it. I hate the, the when toast do patterns like this. I just really do. It's very. But that's un, a personal thing. It's a personal thing, but it, it's toast, very toast. We get it. Toasty toast. It does need a debobs. Yeah, it does. Um, that is code for debobble. Um, it's just not toasty toast, and that's why I don't like it. If that was sea salt, I'd be like, yeah, let's go. I actually thought it was sea salt when you first showed yeah. me. I said that to you. But it was eight pounds, which is pricey. Um, no, it's not. You're however, just being tight again. No, I'm just saying compared. To the other things priced in the shop it was pricey in the shop but it's I would say it's a little midi midi number no it's neat, neat I think neat because number. toast is a lot more kind of well known across the board though like that is compared to the Goodrum for example um, you are going to find that costing more than you know like the four pounds that required is a much better buy than the yes. toast. However, the toast will, is more widely accepted and known, so it just the price is more in charity. I will simple. list it for forty, um, and be so open still... and receptive to offers. However, if it was denim or if it was uh, corduroy, anything, anything else in the world uh, of toast, heavyweight cotton. Yeah, I'm with you. Basically, when toast do silk, I'm out. Yeah, okay, fair but enough. But I'm not. If it's like a caftan. Oh God, you 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 have so many rules. Toast is a funny little like. Creature. Does that make sense? Right, this is the next chair shop. This isn't the hedgehogs one. Um, I have found a Once Gucci again, tie in here before. I've also found Rafa in here before. I've also found Toast in here I feel before. like we found a bag in here as well. Did we find a bag on my lion? A bag? No, Austin. That um, would I'm... be incorrect. Yeah, maybe. No, I don't know if it was. Not a bag, no, honey. No? Okay. No, no. Um, it's, it, don't, don't. Oh, that's a barber underlayer. You didn't even look at that. You I did. It was £8. Pound. Move on. That's quite, that's it, not bad. It, it, For what? It's one of those ones that you, you, you kind of, you kind of, what do you call it? You, um... Is that another one there? The push. No, it's a different company. <laughs> See, like, you act like I don't know what I'm doing. You, you know, you do realize, like, I know this stuff. 
um, you do realise... Uh, yeah, move on. <laughs> Keep it moving, sis. Speaking of knowing things, I didn't, no one said knowing things. This is really cool. I really like this. Is it metal or, like, concrete? I know it's not actually physically those No, things. I know. That was just what it's supposed to look like is the graphic. £3.50. Paul Smith, P.S. I find anything that has the P.S. or the Paul Smith on it sells better. Austin really wants one of these to wear under his coat. <laughs> it's an electric heated Tell vest. me, tell me you're getting... That's getting, like walking around with an electric blanket on. Like, like, how good does that sound? No, it's not because one day you'll just self-combust <laughs> and go up in flames. No, I, I am honestly the one to buy like a dodgy one or one from a charity shop like that. Yeah, It'll yeah. spark, set me a light. Yeah. <laughs> And good night, Vienna. <laughs> and the ginger will be alike. Oh, God. Hey, don't go there. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> this is um, Yves, Yves Saint Laurent. Um, uh, we've been doing particularly well on these shirts. Uh, a lot of people don't rate them because they are silly. Well, you know what? I do. Uh, this is a nice stripe. Um, we Never buttoned down? We picked one up in a Cardiff video. We paid for £3.50 and that one is sold straight away on Vestiaire for 65 bucks. So that is what I'm valuing them at. 65 bucks. For the short sleeve, I'm going to go 75 uh, on the long sleeve. Uh, if you think we're crazy or you think that won't sell, well, you know what? I don't care. No, well, I sold it, so screw you. <laughs> uh, this is another Maybe a bit strong. little sea salt knit number. It had a little, like, a laced crochet detail to the collar. I liked it. It was £5. I'll do 30 These are some jelly cats for all my jelly cat folks out there. If you two have small humans that are obsessed with these things, here we go. So this was £7 for the cow. Um, I did find comps for, I think it was... 35 to 40 and this is a giant frog it seems that the frogs do particularly well but the only record of this one selling was 40 on bids and he was 20 and he was 20 so you probably could have posh 50 but i am not a jelly cat expert there are jelly cat expert experts in the world and as regards price i don't think there was much movement whoa um it's not that <laughs> it's just that um I like finding jelly cats in the kids section and gifting them to my small human. Yeah, but she like, got very upset when I saw Roger the Rooster. Roger the Rooster. We don't talk about Roger the Rooster. 2012 Roger the Rooster. Um, she got very upset and claimed that I had given him away and I was heartless. So I don't mess with jelly cats anymore. We, we've we've had an issue within the family about this. We won't talk about it anymore. But needless to say, Roger is no longer mentioned. She. Um, a lot of people asked me after the last jelly cat video um what kind of jelly cat she's into because uh, bunnies are popular cute woodland creatures she likes the cheese no do you know what she, it's so random the scallops she, like the crab she has a crab she likes a little crab she likes anything that basically looks like it needs a home and that no one will love it she, yes yeah that's that's yeah. what she goes for uh children's Doc martins these were size one they were six pounds they were in very good condition uh, I find the the touchy point with these little these little bad the boys, zips. the zip pulls go and the toes get knocked out. Our little ones had like three or four pairs of these in a lifetime, different sizes and different stages of like well, size. Um, and every single one, I would say at one point another, the zip's been an issue. Would you not agree? The zip pulls just fall off. They're so cheaply made. Honestly, yeah. I don't care what anyone says for the kids' versions. Considering they're so expensive, does new. it upset you? Oh, by the way. Uh, is someone line four for you? Your face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I left that in because I genuinely thought it was funny because I have tons of dad jokes. Honestly. Moving on. We got to this shop and we were feeling a bit unhinged and we were just like, it, it was quite amusing, wasn't it? it like, oh, do you ever have one of those days you, you walk around and you're kind of a bit of a daze and it's just like... <laughs> No, see, I was having a look. Gore-Tex, get it? Yeah, it's not, she it just she says, kept, like, telling me, go, go. What are you talking gore. about? Go away. Well, because everyone says if it's got Gore-Tex on it, it's worth picking up. But it didn't have Gore-Tex. No, it, it didn't. just said it gore. Just said gore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Which makes it funny, right? Yeah, hilarious. Anyway, kids, I'm crying with laughter inside. Kids' stock martins are actually worth picking up. We didn't pick those up. Don't hate us. Um, but they are worth picking up. They they do, like, you know. But they do got money. Well, all I'm saying... Depending on colour I'm saying if, well. you, if, you, if, you, if, you're, if you're buying them, like, just... They, to be beat round by your children, don't bother. The zips are terrible. <laughs> You've got real I, beef I, with I, those zips. I, I actually picked uh, picked these up because I wanted to do kind of, you know, the music from thrift, uh, from thrift Shop? You got the Velcros? 
I just thought that was hilarious. They look a bit manky, they say. So I, when lost. I touched them, I kind of like regretted it, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I put my hand today in a shoe. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. <laughs> and it had one of those jelly inserts in, but I thought I was... <laughs> Sorry, say it again, because I'm going to vomit in my mouth. <laughs> jelly insert. Oh, and I thought it was just the insole, and I physically picked up the jelly insert in my hand, and I... Screamed audibly. And through it, and through it. This is like, this is what I'm dealing with. Uh, in, in, you know, oh God, why I do I bother? what it was. Anyway. These well, are some toast joggers. Toast joggers, yes, but they did have, um, we, see, we're having a bit of these as well. They had some markings to the crotch. In a thigh. <laughs> in a thigh, and they were dubious. They looked oily. Uh, oh, that's honestly. What, that's what you said in the shop. You no, said you I, couldn't get them out because they looked oily. Oh, I did say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said grease. It looks like grease. There was no mention of oily, you sick animal. <laughs> What's the difference between oily and greasy? In fact, I think oily's worse. <laughs> oh, See, look, fondling yeah, I, I, the stains. I, I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not fondling anything. <laughs> Austin, once again, with the fondling of the stains. You have so many internal problems. But he did see this, £4.50. This is a very out of our realm, just to clarify. This is not a usual pickup, guys. <laughs> this is a Disney Parks lounge fly. And Austin said, look, it's a Disney Parks lounge fly. For anyone who doesn't know, we avidly watch um, people go to Disneyland. You know um, what? It's like, we've been to Disneyland. We've been lucky enough to go to Disneyland quite a few times. But like every time before we go, we start watching like vlogs and stuff from people so in Disney. So I know that the lounge fly bags have a high collectability yeah. factor, right? Austin pointed it out to be fair to him, but he, he seemed a bit confused about what he was pointing Same out. Same as that chap we just passed. Anyway, so that's a tote bag and it's a Mirror Mar mirror Magic collection. Um, it's a little holographic little Mickeys and Minis um, on them. Um, it is missing its inner pouch. However, it is a sold out, so discontinued bag and it appears that it's selling on Poshmark in America because you know it's a Disney Parks a Florida exclusive. it's exclusive yeah yeah um, it appears they're going for $81 so I'm gonna let's not be so precise there I'm gonna think whoa so we're in the UK and like we can't get the American stuff so maybe this that makes it a little bit more desirable so I'm gonna go for £60 six zero. yeah why are you looking at me like that I was actually I was actually thinking about this hat um, <laughs> it was what <laughs> what are you Friday? thinking about it it was one of those labels which is, um, you know, uh, by uh, appointment of the Queen or King, as the case may be now, but like, uh, and I did... Well, I did, it would be I, Queen I, still, I, wouldn't it? Cause... That's why I said Queen. Right. And that's why I said King now. That's a lovely hand knit. Oh, the Ooh, love of G. That's, that's gorgeous. It is, it was lovely. You didn't show me that. No, no, do you know why? Why? There's no label. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Sometimes that with, with these knits, that if there's... Oh, God, you I put just... it back in the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you know what? If you want to ruin me in the comments for that, feel free because that's out of, out of order. You just just gone. <laughs> do, you know, do you know why? Because if you actually go back and watch the footage, it wasn't actually on a hang or anything. It was laid out, so I didn't know where to put it back. It wasn't. It shouldn't have been in the belt section, that's for sure. Also, I'm holding the lounge nice... fly bag in the most outstanding way possible. Honestly. God, this is such a... Oh, I can't even say it. Uh, that was a nice hand it. You don't necessarily have to have a label in a nice hand it. I've learned that because of all my wool friends. Um, wool friends? <laughs> yeah, wool friends. There's some people that know wool, I'm telling you. And is, if it's a nice pattern or Do me a favour. Stop talking about wool and talk to me about this. This is... um. Well, Oh, this is a Paul Smith shirt. It's actually a very nice stripe, actually. Green and blue is desirable. It's a double collar too, but it was like £160. It was £15. Yep, it was a lot of money. And the next to it was a blue one. Striped, if you will. For £4.90. Was it £4.90? That's a strange, strange, strange price. That's a weird number, isn't it? £4.90 it is as well. I reckon they must, like... Like if, There's got to be like a percentage or something yeah, of that. Yeah, it's a percentage. Because like, like even the four ninety nine, I get like or or four fifty, but four ninety. That should do well. Um, I actually like picking up Paul Smith. <laughs> Why is that funny? No, 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 no. You're just thinking about the fact it's four ninety. I found this. This is an Alberta Ferretta. Ferretti. Ferretta. Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's a silk purple pencil skirt. I mean, it's very uninteresting in terms to look at, um, but that is a very high end brand and it will probably do really well on Vestief. At least sports a one, max. 150. This is Sports Max. I tell you why I didn't pick it up because I like Sports Max. It's a diffusion of Max Mara, but they have their own catwalk shows, etc. So it's a bit more of a big deal if that makes sense. Um, it was extremely boring. 
Yeah, it was a snooze fest. It was. And I like when it comes to Sports Max, a lot of people think Sports Max is like sporty clothes and it's not. It's not athleisure at all. Um, when it comes to Sports Max... I mean, I wouldn't go jogging in that, so to speak. No, exactly. Uh, I like something a bit more unusual. They're, they, they're quite good with a sequin and they're quite good with like ski... Not ski stuff, but stuff that looks like you could wear it in the ski bar. Apri ski, is that what it's called? Apri ski, you know, when you have a hot toddy. Mm. <laughs> or I was going to say coca, but then I decided with toddy. <sighs> what would you have in an Apri, Apri ski bar? If I was with you, as much alcohol as possible. That's firstly rude. <laughs> Secondly insulting mm. and thirdly i wouldn't blame you there were some uh, <laughs> there were some boots in the window of this store uh they were alexander mcqueen they were how much they were 95 bucks yeah they are they were men's um we didn't obviously i can't really they were quite get small men's as well oh, they looked like a fair man's foot um this was uh, the incident with the in the insole um i don't want to really talk about it because it does uh i'm gonna think about it for a long time you know when you just feel something that isn't correct they had i don't know if you saw it in the glass cabinet this video is classic um in the glass <laughs> cabinet they had a choker and it had a word on yes it. did you see it i think i, I think i film it if i don't okay. film it, it we'll tell you at the end yeah um anyway oh it's burkhouse there um no you don't like that okay fine was it not gore-tex no i i, I do you know what you didn't look, oh, did you? Oh, God. I, 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 I have a so little interest in, uh, in Burghouse, unless it's, like, a really fantastic jacket, and it wasn't a fantastic jacket. Put it in jacket. the belts, isn't it? Yeah, check it in the belts. No, no, no. I've so, never seen anyone do that in my life. <laughs> it wasn't on a hanger, right? Listen, it wasn't on a hanger. It wasn't hung. You could have folded or it. Or better, right? If, I, oh, I, can't even I found the ACG, like, <laughs> base layer. What would you call that? <laughs> it is ladies, but it's got the embroidery on the shoulder. Or on the it's arm. a nice shape, too. Um, and it was seven pound fifty. I don't know what they go for. She was shouting in my ear. Sorry, like like thirty, thirty five. Yeah. Definitely a deep popper. Not a deep popper, but you could sell it on eBay or deep popper. To a deep popper. Or vintage. Yeah, I like on the forty pound mark, easy. I don't want to big myself up, but this is the second country piece I found. This is like the rarest Ralph Lauren label of all time, and I found two pieces in like less than a month. This is Ralph Lauren country, which is the would you say predecessor or? Yes. Yeah, to um, RRL. Yeah. And this is in Navajo Stripe. That's how I it's describe so cool. it. It's so cool. It's so cool. This the is like is the good stuff. Um, it is women's again. It's a size small again. Like, um, it kills me off. If that was a man's shirt, honestly, that's like £200 shirt. Do we shirt. know for sure it's a women's size small? Is it a yes. man's size small? But the last one we had was in sizing. Nobody's, I'm saying like the, the, length, we'll measure it. the length, the sleeves. Anyway, this is JW Anderson. I don't normally pick up JW Anderson for Uniqlo um, because it doesn't normally sell very well, but the quality the, of this, this was skirt, a lovely, lovely skirt, i got to say. And how much was it? Five pounds. It should, it should do at least 40, I reckon. Can we just uh, Go take... Go that shirt. How no, much? can we just take a moment for the fact... Oh, at least 250. Can we take a moment for the fact that the ACG was £7.50, the Ralph Lauren Country was £6.50, the... Um, Jamie uh, Anderson. Skirt was five pound and it all came to twelve pound fifty. We yes. don't know how we got there. We didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. You walk out of the shop and you're like, wait, was that right? Yeah, or afterwards was it not we, right? afterwards we realised that it would be totally wrong. And at first I was like, that just doesn't sound right. But by the time we got back to the car and checked the receipt, it was just way off. Anyway, anyway so that country shirt should do at least two fifty. It is an absolute banger. That is the label you want from Ralph, and I'm so happy to have found it twice in a month because I'm that cool. Bye.